Opening day weekend has finally played out and it's time for episode 2 of Studs and Duds. On this series we look at who is hot and who is not in the last 7 days of Major League play. As always we start out with the duds so here we go. My first dud of the day is the Oakland A's for sending Estuary Ruiz down to AAA despite batting 429 with an RBI and a stolen base. The reason they gave was he needed to work on his on base percentage. The A's are a joke and the fans deserve better. This is my dud of the week. Do better Oakland. Bryce Harper finds himself on the dud list. He's 0 for 11 with 5 strikeouts this season so far. He also completely flipped over a wall to add insult to injury, but we all know he's going to figure it out. Next up is JP Crawford. He has an abysmal 105 average with a 191 on base percentage this season in 19 at bats and he has 4 strikeouts. The Mariners need him to step up if they want to go far this season. Jose Alvarado is a solid bullpen arm, but he was not that this week. In 2.2 innings of work, his ERA sits at 16.88 as he's allowed 5 runs. This comes after the Phillies were ranked the top bullpen in baseball. Tragic. Now to your favorite part, we got the studs. Ronel Blanco leads off our stud list for this week. He threw a no-hitter with 7 strikeouts and 2 walks in only his 8th Major League start. If he stays consistent and solid this season, the Astros will be in a good place. He's gotta be my stud of the week. Shelby Miller was a reliable arm for the Dodgers last year, and he is now the same thing with the Tigers. In four innings of work, he has not allowed a single base runner and has been dominant so far. He's 100% a guy in the pen to keep your eye out for this season. Shoto Imanaga and his contract look like an absolute steal for the Cubs after his first Major League start. He dazzled with six innings with no runs and nine strikeouts while only allowing two hits. He has a nasty arsenal, and I think he's going to be on this list quite a bit. No surprise here, but Bobby Witt is a stud for this week. He's batting 500 with a 5.56 OBP and 5 extra base hits. The speedster could turn any hit into a double, and he's shown that early on during his 16 at-bats. Finally, we got Anthony Volpe. He struggled a lot last season, but he's starting off hot this year. In 14 at-bats, he's slashing a 5.71 average with a 6.67 on-base percentage. He's walked 4 times and had 4 extra base hits. The Yankees are coming out red hot this season, and he's a huge part as to why. Well, here's my list for episode 2. Yeah, I know, I missed someone, so you gotta let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see y'all later.